Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek11 Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to pass data from one view to another. Now in this simulator here, I have an example of what we'll be creating today. We have a simple text field here where we type in text and then press our press data button and then it will take that data from the text field and display it in a label in our second view. So before I type in text into our text field, just to show you that the label on the second view is blank, if I just press the button here, it switches to our second view and there is a label just underneath the button which you cannot see at the moment as there is no text being displayed. So if I go back and then type in simply geeky lemon, press pass data and now the label displays the text on our first view. So I'll be showing you how to create this today and already have my project set up it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Passing Data for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is create our second view so we can switch to it. So if you go up here you can go File or right click on the name, project name and go New File. Make sure it's a UI view controller subclass and I simply name it Second View, really simple and then press next and then create that into our project and then now we need to set up so it enables us to switch from the first view to our second view so we just simply do the code from our previous tutorials where we sh I've shown you how to switch views so if we just quickly type this out now I'll zoom in for you so you can all see what we want to do first is create our OB action button to enable us to switch to our second view and I'll simply name this one pass data as that's the name of the button I, I named it in the simulator and we can save that and then zoom out now if we go to our second view controller.h where we again add the same button so we can switch back from our second view to our first view and again dash bracket ib action and I'll simply name this one back so that's really simple so far we've created both of the action buttons there to enable us to switch back from our first to our second view and so on and so on. So now if we go into our view controller.m where we will now add the codem to enable us to switch from the first view to our second view. So the first thing we need to do is underneath the import, do the hashtag import and import our second view. And then just after underneath the implementation, we do dash bracket IB action and I name the button pass data. and then bracket and then press enter and then simply all we need to do now is type out the code to enable us to switch to our second view so we do second view space asterisk second I'll simply name it space equals space bracket bracket second view now all this is exactly the same as our previous tutorial where I showed you how to switch views so some of you may already know this and some of you may not but I'm just going to quickly type it out now for you so do alloc bracket space init with nib name. And in the NS string we do nil. And then in the bundle we do nil again. And then we do a bracket and a semicolon. Now we press enter and we do bracket self space present module view controller. And in the highlight section here of the view controller we do second. In the animated here, we do yes. Now, I won't be adding a transition, so simply all the view will do is simply slide up from the bottom, as it doesn't really matter in the tutorial. So we can save that, and we can simply copy this here. So it will save us a little bit of time on writing the code for switching back. So if you go into our second view.m, and again, we're going to copy exactly the same progress. So we only need to import, hashtag import, and we import our view controller. H and just have the implementation, press enter a few more times, press, and then paste out our coded in our first view. But the button name changes, it's called back. And I simply change the second view here to view controller, and then again our second one to view controller, save that, and then zoom out. So now we've got all the code out of the way for switching to our second view and being able to switch back. 
I'll just quickly go into our view controller that XIB, add a round rect button, name it pass data, and then click on files owner and link up the button. So touch down. And exactly the same in our second view. So I'll name this back and then files owner, link up the back button and touch down. So now if we quickly go to build and run and just make sure all that's working and we are able to switch to the second view then switch back to our first view without a simple problem. So then once it's loaded up in the simulator, press our button, switches to our second view and our second button here switches back to our first view. So now we know that's all working perfect, the next thing we want to do is now add our label and create an inner string for our label for the text to be displayed in it. So if you go to our second view .h, and I'll zoom in again. So just after the first curly bracket, we need to create an outlet. So we do ib outlet space ui label space asterisk, and I simply name it label and that with a semicolon. Press enter, and I this now I'll create my ns string space asterisk, and I'll simply name the ns string past value, and that with a semicolon. And then just after the last curly bracket there, we need to add it as a property. So we do at property space bracket non-atomic comma retain bracket. And if we just copy our inner string there with its name and then paste it at the end and then save that. We will zoom out. Go to our second view dot m and just have underneath the implementation, I'll zoom in again. We need to synthesize our NS string and we named it past value. So past value and that with a semicolon and press save and then scroll down to where we have our view did load. Which is just at the bottom here. And what we need to do now is type in label.text space equals space past value. So basically what we're doing, as soon as the view loads, the past value from the NS string, so what's being loaded into the NS string and loads up into our second view, as soon as the view loads, basically what's the, what is in the string will display in our label as soon as the view loads basically. So that's all that's needed there. So we've saved that. Now zoom out. Now we go to our view controller.h where we will add the outlet for our text field and our second view for it to pass data. So again, I'll zoom in. Underneath the import here, we need to import the second view as we'll be using this to switch to our data. So we do bracket import and the name of our second view, which is second view.h. And then just after the curly bracket here, we type in second view space and I'll give it a simple name of second view data and that makes semicolon. We add our IB outlet of our text field, UI text field space asterisk. I'll name the text field simply text field so it's easy to understand when we come to the coding. And now we need to do, do exactly the same as what we did to our NS string, but this time with our second view. So we do at property space bracket non atomic comma retain bracket. And again, to save time, you can simply copy this line here, paste it at the end, making sure there's a semicolon on the end, and then save that. Zoom out, we go to our view controller.m, and now we need to synthesize our second view. So we Underneath the implementation, press enter a few times and synthesize, and we named it second view data. So at the end of that, we do a semicolon. And now, then, what we need to do is adjust the coding for switching views for it to enable to pass the data from our text field 
into our inner string and into display into our second view. So just before the second line with the self and present mind in view controller, let's press enter twice so we have a little bit of room and we can clearly see what we're typing out. What we need to do basically is type in self dot second view data space equals space second to our the name of what we switch in views and that would be a semicolon. Press enter twice so we again can clearly see what we're typing out. And we're typing second view data dot past value which is our string and what we want it to display will be equal to what is in the text field. So we do space equals space text field and then type in dot text as it's text being displayed. Make sure it's a dot text and that have a semicolon and then press save. And if you want to pause the video there and catch up on any of that coding, but I'll simply zoom out now and where we'll start now adding our text field in our viewcontroller.xib. So if you simply drag it in, and I'll space it out, then go to file zone and link up our text field outlet to our text field. Save that, go into our second view.xib, where we add in our label now. And I'll space it out so it's nice and wide. And then I'll center the text. And again, click on Files Owner and into Connections and then link up the label outlet to our label. So now, once that's all done, we can simply go to Build and Run and see our finished product. Okay then, so now once it's loaded, we have our button to switch to our second view and then switch back. We have our text field, in our first view and in our second view we have our label which is currently displaying no text as there is no text in our text field. So if we go back and type out some text, so if I simply type in geeky lemon, Press our press data button, and now the label is displaying Geeky Lemon. And we can go back and then type in more text, as in this text has been passed to the second view. Now, this text might be a bit long to be displayed in our label, but we'll press it anyway, just to show you that it is different text being displayed. So, there we go. This text has been passed through to the second view. And then we can go back and again type out something random such as apples. And apples has been displayed in our second view. So that's simply how you pass data from one view to another. I hope this tutorial helps you loads in your apps or projects at the moment. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and please like and favorite this video as it does help us out a lot. Leave us a comment or send us a message if you want to suggest any tutorial yourself or if you just want to leave us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. All our feedback is welcome and we do read everything you guys send in. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you like us on Facebook and Twitter so you get all the information on our latest happenings and make sure you go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geek Lemon on the App Store or just click in the links in the description below. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials and visit our blog forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.